Alrighty. So where was I? Uh, it was, it was, there were good times. The 50s. I was in 19, I was born in 1938. So, you guys can do that math. God knows I don't remember any math. Uh, uh, Whoa, this soup is kind of hard. <laughs> That's what she said. <sighs> so, sorry, I had to go take my medication. The doctor said I have to take it every three hours. So, the 50s were a good time. I mean, we could just walk anywhere and not have to worry about being robbed. Have you ever seen that movie, Grease? It's a pretty accurate portrayal of, uh, of what it was like for us back then, except, of course, I didn't smoke cigarettes. Huh. Or, uh, I didn't drink or dance like Rizzo, all, all that vulgarity. I would never disrespect my father like that. <laughs> Excuse me. But yeah, it was there were there were really good times back then growing up. You know, I remember when I could go to the cinema and I could watch a movie for a dollar. Now, those were the times. Let me those were the times. Now, when I take my grandson and you know his little friends to the to the movies. It's about ten dollars per person. Ten dollars. Now you need to. Somebody needs to explain to me why and when that happened because I I don't I don't understand. It 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 literally came out of nowhere. And then they want the little popcorn and then the soda and the candy and then it's an extra like forty dollars. I mean it's it's insane, right? I mean, I'm living, I, I have money saved up from all the years I've, I've been living, working, but I, I'm not going to have all this money forever, obviously I'm not going to live forever because, you know, YOLO and whatnot. Look at that, kitties. I finished. It's not adorable. I can add it to my collection. Well, Jeffrey says I have to stop talking. He says, I'm, I'm boring you, and that's obviously not true. We just know how Jeffrey is. So, it's been nice talking to you, camera. Flip. Um, maybe my grandson will want to do this again. We will see. Goodbye, Jeffrey. Okay. Well, I really can't see anything without my glasses. So. Hey guys, happy Wednesday. I know I didn't post last week. I'm not going to give you some excuse because uh, I'm really kind of tired of saying that I'm busy and whatever. So, basically, um, back in 2000, 2000, 2006, um, my friend was like, hey, look at these guys. Look at they're singing about Pokemon, and I was like, oh, they're so funny. And it was that one Smosh video. Um, I watched, like, you know, stupid videos, like, Sims music videos uh, in, like, summer of, like, 2008. I didn't really watch, like, I didn't follow anybody until about 2008, like, late 2008, when my friend showed me Waste Time Chasing Cars. Uh, Mac, uh, and she showed me that Don't Trust Me music video, which was really cool back then. It was like the coolest thing, and it was before the song was popular, so I was able to say, I knew this song before it got popular, whatever. But from there, actually, I was on Mac's channel one day in like October and November ish. Yeah, it was about November, and I saw he had favorited a video. And it was all colorful, and I was like, oh, I should click on it. And it was Strawberry Seventeen's um, Hot Air Balloon music video. 
and I was like, wow, this girl is really cool, I can't believe she did this all by herself, and I went on her channel, and I uh, started watching her videos, and then I saw Block Candy, and v Block Candy in New York, VC in New York, and I was like, what's Block Candy? So I went from there, and then I was like, oh wow, this is really cool, I'm going to make an account, and I'm going to subscribe, and I'm going to watch all their videos, all the videos, in a month, and I did it. And it was, it was actually, that was 2009. So, I found Mac 2008, so I guess 2009 in November, I found them. And they were having their anniversary, and I remember they were all like, oh, it was like, Lopi, and it, Lopi was saying, oh, one year anniversary, and I was like, oh my god, I have to watch them all before the one year anniversary. And I totally did, I think. But, uh, yeah. You guys have a good week. Uh, next week, shall be posting. Look out for that. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to a concert in Orlando, and I'm so excited because I'm gonna go meet my favorite person in the world, William Beckett. If you guys know the Academy is, it's a ex frontman of the Academy is. There we go. So I'm very excited for that, and maybe I'll film some stuff. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, bye guys, have a good week, catch you on the flip side.